Since the program began back in 1946, the J. William Fulbright Forum Scholarship has been awarded to over 380,000 teachers, students, artists, scientists, and professionals. And now, Kelly Bivens. I first learned about the Fulbright years ago, and I thought it was a really prestigious honor. And I really wanted the whole world to know about all the good things that are happening here, because I'm so proud of the teachers and the work and the students. And everything that is happening right here needs to be happening on a global level. She had told me that she applied. She told me last summer, I think. And um, she applies for a lot of grants, and she's gotten a lot of grants. So, but this was big. For me, it's a big deal. Um, I'm the first one in my family to go to college. So having been a first-generation college student, um, I went through all of those barriers and um, am happy with having gone this far in college, but I wanted to go a little further and see if I could try for this Fulbright. Not so much for me, but really for everything that we're doing here in Athens. Bivens first learned of the Fulbright Scholarship while in college where she applied. Although she didn't receive the scholarship, that didn't deter her from trying again. Cedar is is my favorite place to be. If, um, other than my family, of course, I love to be with my family, but everything that we have here at Cedar is representative of our whole world. And we have the beginnings and the makings and the possibilities to make um, our world incredibly great. And we already have that here at Cedar. And I want the whole world to see how awesome our students are. And I also want to prepare our students for jobs in the green industry in the future. Bivens believes that the environmental stewardship is a big part of the Athens community. She hopes that Cedar Shoals would be the forerunners of the Clark County School District. Um, I helped her a lot to learn about sustainability and um, some of the issues that we have connecting the people in our community with good food. I really feel strongly about our environment and teaching what's called environmental stewardship. We are in charge of this planet and we're not doing a good job of it. So I would love to see our schools here in Athens become the world leaders for having green school education. So the application process, uh, I began, I believe it was in January. I started uh, looking at the essay questions and started thinking about it. And they, um, the questions were really personal, but also they made me reflect on what we already have here at Cedar. And it was just a moment uh, sitting down, documenting all the wonderful things we have at Cedar. And then I waited. And then I finally learned at the end of July that I would be going. I didn't get a car, or they didn't give me a whole bunch of money, or a trip to um, you know Disney World, but I'm pretty excited about what I do get to do, which is travel abroad to learn more about global education. Without knowledge of how her day-to-day -day class will be affected, Bivens is still optimistic that she can incorporate what she learns throughout the year. So beginning in September, I get to go to school. Um, I take an online class with the other people who've also been awarded the Fulbright, and we come together online virtually to learn more about global education. We learn about what's already been, um, what's already happening in the global education world and how can we become better global educators. I would hope to get our whole school board and our superintendent on board with us becoming a green district because the students here are passionate about the environment and they're passionate about that they are global citizens already. And so athens Clark County already has a sustainability plan. So I would like to see our school district also adopt that sustainability plan and become more green. Well, I couldn't think of a better person to receive it. I know that she's going to do great things for, she's going to use her scholarship well, and she's going to do great things with it. And in turn, that will have a great impact, a positive impact on our students and our community. This has been TK Mumford from WJAG-TV, signing off.